What is going on you guys? Cameron here with the video. Um, so I just actually uploaded this video, but uh, YouTube decided to delete it. Um, it wasn't uploading properly and then it just canceled. But anyways, this is a basic expense database. So I have 15 records in here all categorized by a date and then an expense type and then a total amount. And uh, the end result here is to search based off of a start date and a uh, end date and then I just click search and it filters out um, based off of just the start date and the end date so it's going to find everything from the first to the 31st and everything in between if I click the clear button it will uh, show all records and it will uh, clear out my start date and my end date so all you got to do on this is in your uh, database here I just have an expense table and uh, those are the basic fields here and then I create an actual search date uh, table field uh, with uh, the start date field and end date field and then uh, I have a relationship between my uh, expenses and my uh, search date uh, table and I just relate it with the foreign key of my expenses and then uh, one thing to note is that in your search date field you want your start date to be a global storage and your end date to also be a uh, global storage all right and then all you got to do is uh, to understand how this works is that when you go into a find mode and you type in let's say uh, 10 1 dash uh, 2020 dot 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 in FileMaker uh, is a range so the dot 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 is a range between this uh, search string and the uh, last search string so this is the manual way to do a search for a uh, date so the only thing we got to do here is actually just make a script step that basically does what we just did uh, manually based off of what we put in these fields and what we do for that is you create a script step I already have them but I'll create another one for you, with you guys here so this one's gonna be called um, search date 2 and all you're gonna do is set a variable for the uh, start date and the start date will come from the start date the search date start date uh, table and then you're going to, I spelled that wrong. You're going to create an end date, and that one's going to just be the search date end date. Just going to jump back into that, fix that. All right, and then you're just going to enter find mode. You're going to set field, uh, the uh, search date. I'm sorry, no, you're going to set the field uh, expense date to the start date and quotations dot 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 and the variable end date. So all this is saying that you have the start date variable, which is whatever's in this field, and dot dot dot, whatever is in the end date field. You're going to click OK and then you're going to perform that find and then you're going to commit your records and then your clear is basically just setting it's going to show all records and then it's going to set the field search date and set the field end date to nothing with double quotations and that's all you got to do so the uh, search field here is just using the search date uh, script and then the clear is just using the clear so if we go back to this we just need to input a different date let's say we want 1 30 2020 and we can click search and there you have it those show up everything if we click clear it gives us everything back and it um you can also go uh, dynamically here and also in your uh, clear you can actually do a sort records based off of your date ascending so everything stays in order 
just like in our search date field, we do that as well. So we exit out of this and click clear, and there you go. Now it's filtered uh, from the first, from January to December and this order, or you can do it the other way to have December to January, depending on whatever you like. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, comment, and please subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Thanks, guys.